Serious, lawyers, what's the case you regretted winning? Family law is a little different in that you never really win per se. You may get more favorable rulings or better terms, but unless the opposing party did something illegal or mind-bogglingly stupid it's never a decisive win really. Although I did have a case where my client fought really hard for the dog, and then ended up turning him over to a shelter. Fucking asshole. The ex-wife received an anonymous tip and was able to get him back quickly. As a personal injury attorney, I've seen a few clients win the blue collar lotto or getting more money than they reasonably know how to deal with. I do my best to educate them, but my job is to try and maximize their recovery, not teach them finance. I have definitely contributed to a few drug habits. The one where the client never paid. Edit, clarification slash explanation. When I was a young associate, I was assigned to do a civil commercial trial for a client that was not happy with the senior partner. He stopped paying. We moved to withdraw. The court refused to allow us to withdraw and forced us to go to trial. Spend a significant amount of time in trial prep, etc. I win the trial. Client never pays. Client's position was that my boss screwed up the deal and that there never should have been a dispute slash trial to begin with. Firm policy prohibits us from suing clients because that causes a drastic increase in malpractice premiums 9 times out of 10 if you sue a client for non-payment, they will countersue for malpractice. Did a divorce where the husband, who I was representing, wanted to trade custody of his children for a set of bedroom furniture. The bedroom furniture was not even like a family heirloom. It was furniture that you could probably get at a rooms to go or something. Uck, still makes me ill. That's why I got out of family law. Edit, I'd honestly like to thank all of you for your various points of view on this particular pain point in my career. For the record, yes. I did win that particular point, but it did not fill me with any joy. But, those who said that it was probably for the best, perhaps you're right. I don't want to give away details because of where I work. But I will speak broadly about something that may or may not have happened. There are attorney guardians at Litem, GAL, who represent the best interests of children who have been adjudicated to be abused, neglected, or dependent. Dependent means that the child is dependent on state support, think of both parents tragically passing without other family members. Part of the job is making recommendations to the court about when and in what manner children should be reunited with their parents after parents engage in services to prevent an incident from happening again. The child was abused. The parent did services for a year. The gal recommended the child be returned to mom. Mom killed the child about a year later. That was a pretty sad one. Prosecuted a murder case. 21 year old kid starts dating an older guy's ex girlfriend. The older guy, real roughneck, loose connections with a local biker gang, was going all over his small town talking about how he was going to kick the kid's ass. The older guy sends some nudes of the ex while he's getting drunk at a bar. So the kid says something smart ass in response. Older guy comes to the kid's house to fight him. The kid shoots him once and the older guy dies. Jury didn't buy self-defense or castle doctrine. Convicted of voluntary manslaughter. 20 years. Burned up his appeals with no luck. I have a son about the kid's age. I could totally imagine him doing the exact same things if he were in a similar situation. Shit's going to haunt me until I die. No doubt about it. Started thinking about other work the moment the verdict came back. Women wanted her daughter custody. We used the state preference about custody going to the mother judge bias, her improved economical situation, and some minor garbage like her grades and discipline problems at school to discredit the dad. Not even a month after we won the mother calls and says she had a problem. Then she explains the problem was that her BF raped the girl and after that she had the gall to ask we pick up his defense. One of the things that made me quit to good work. There was a case that I saw that involved a claim with fee shifting, meaning that if the plaintiff won, their attorney's fees would get paid by the defendant. Defendant pushed an aggressive legal position at trial that the judge agreed with, and won, avoiding a few thousand in liability to the plaintiff and a few thousand in attorney's fees. So far so good. But then the plaintiff appeals all the way to the state's high court, requiring a ton of briefing and time. High court agrees with plaintiff, 
reverses and sends back to the trial court, which now enters judgment against the defendant for a few thousand in damages against the plaintiff and tens and tens of thousands of dollars in attorney's fees from the appeal. The defense lawyer probably regretted winning at first on that aggressive argument to the trial court. Guy lost his wife and children in a car accident. He wanted to exercise to get his emotions and mental health back in check. Doctor wrote him recommendations for exercise equipment, ball, chin-up bar, nothing crazy, and he submitted the expenses for same to his insurer. Client, insurer slash adjuster, wanted this for tooth and nail because exercise equipment was only covered for physical rehab and he was not physically injured. I do not practice in this area anymore. Had this happened to me twice. Got my client out on bail only to thereafter have him up and killed. First time, he was in building supposedly selling, got chased by the police and a struggle ensued where he was shot point blank in the head. Mother told me that it was my fault that he was killed and that I was working with the DA and the police. Second time, a young man no more than 16 gets released while waiting trial on robbery. One of the conditions of release was that he maintain a curfew. That very night he breaks curfew goes over to somebody else's house and was killed in a drug related robbery. Mother blamed me and said that the devil was working through me that we were all demons. Criminal defense is a hard business. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.